Hi Pisces, welcome to your general reading for May. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome in. Thank you. So this is a general collective reading. We will look at whatever energies need to come out. It could be love, could be work, career, finance, could be anything at all. So we'll take it as it comes. So please only take it how it resonates for you. May or may not resonate. Don't try to make it fit. If it's not making sense, then it's not your reading. Please keep that in mind. It could be past, present, or future. This is intended for someone rising Venus and Jupiter, male or female. So let's see what we have for you, Pisces. Welcome. Hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. And Pisces, everything you need to know is down below in the description box. This is a general collective reading, not a private reading. But if you would like a private reading, that info is below also. Decks I'm using, uh, playlist links, tons of stuff down there. So please go check it out. And if you're new... Welcome, and uh, if you like what you see, please feel free to check out my channel and subscribe, like, share, comment, all that great stuff, and hit the bell. You won't miss out. You get about four or five readings a month, and if you do, uh, thank you so much. Okay, so this is Zodiac Oracle. You get a sign, element, or planet. See if this affects you in any way in your reading. Um, you may or may not resonate with whatever comes out here. Totally fine. Doesn't mean the reading's not for you, and then with this deck here, We'll pull an opening message for you, then we'll pull one for your energy, and then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot, whatever comes out, and then we'll look at the situation, whatever it is, advice, possible outcome, and then bottom of the decks, I always go over the bottom of the decks, and then we'll get extra messages from this deck at the end. All right, so for Pisces, spirit please, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female for the general collective. Can we get a sign, element, or planet for Pisces, please? Oh, that's, I think I'll take this one. All right, so we have Aries. So you could be dealing with the Aries. If not, uh, you can have Aries in your chart or know someone who has a heavy Aries in their chart. But Aries does represent the um, emperor in the tarot deck or the tower. Actually, it represents two cards. So the emperor is somebody you know, who takes the lead, takes control, takes charge, could be a boss, but doesn't have to be. Could just be the energy of take someone finally taking control, lead, charge of their life. Or the tower does represent an epiphany, a change, a challenge, a disruption, um, a big aha moment, a surprise, a revelation. It can be something breaking down, exploding. I mean, a lot of energy with the tower. Uh, tower. So we'll see if this card signifies to you either you're dealing with an Aries, a tower moment, or taking control of a situation, or, you know, person, place, thing, situation. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. All right. Pisces. So it could be one, two, all of the above. So however that resonates for you. So this deck here for Pisces, spirit, please. Let's get an opening message for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and Jupiter, male or female. For the collective, general collective, what is the opening message for Pisces, please? Opening message for Pisces. And I just noticed here Aries is one. Ones are about new beginnings. So we'll see if that plays uh, any significance. Opening message for Pisces, please. Well, that's way too many, but I think we'll take this one. So we have here Chimera. And that is number 38. And 38 is 11, which equals 2. Is 2 is about partnerships and unity and uh, that kind of energy. And we do have fire here. So I do believe this represents two animals in one. So I'm just going to read uh, a little bit of the key words on this since I don't use this deck um, often enough. So I tend to forget exactly what the cards mean. So I believe that may be the last card in the deck. Nope. So let's see here. Chimera. Compromise between opposites, balance, finding a way to bring it all together, creativity. So a lot of different meanings there. So finding compromise here, balance, a way to bring something together and something create creative or creativity. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. All right, so, wow, that's way too many. Let's get one for your energy. What is your energy like right now for Pisces? Keep, 
keep giving me like three. I just want one for Pisces Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's take that one. We have dragon. Are we slaying a dragon? Because this person looks like they're slaying that dragon. We have more fire. And Aries is fire. So now we have 37. So we got 37 and 38. Wow, something's progressing here. Or it's going backwards because we per, uh, first pulled 38 and now we're pulling 37. So um, and 37 is 10. It tends about endings and then there's a new beginning. So... What is this dragon about? What is this dragon about? Let's see. Slaying your dragons, that's <laughs> what I just said. Courage, strength, facing darkness. Ooh. So you may be facing, slaying a dragon here, facing the darkness, and uh, finding your balance out of all of this. Wow. So what, and then taking control and taking uh, lead of a situation because of this energy. Let's see what's at the bottom bottom here, what we have. Okay, I don't do reversals with this, but we have Bluebird here, which is 33. And threes are about, you know, teamwork, collaboration. It's a social energy, community energy. But if you add it together, six is about healing and balance. So we now have ear energy with the Bluebird. And these birds, you know, kind of remind me of news or good news coming in or messages. But um, this deck has a little bit um, of a different meaning. So let me see what this has to say. Optimism and hope, happiness and idealism. So through some sort of challenge and being courageous as slaying a dragon, Somehow now we are um, finding compromise and balance and um, then coming out happy at the end <laughs> with the bluebirds there. Just finding a way to bring something all together to where there's peace, harmony, and balance through slaying a dragging, dragon and being courageous and then coming out optimistic, optimistic and happy at, in the end. So what are we going through here? Pisces. Let's see what's going on with you, Pisces. A lot of fire energy. So, I mean, that says Aries, but fire is Leo, Sag, and Aries. So, let's see. Let's clarify this energy for you, Pisces. What is this energy about for Pisces? So, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female for the General Collective. Let's get one more good shuffle. All right. Let's clarify this energy for Pisces, please. What are we slaying here? What is this dragon that Pisces is, is slaying? That it finally got the courage up to slay. The Wheel of Fortune. So now I have Sagittarius energy. Is this divine timing, fate, destiny, things going in a better direction? Temperance again. Wow. So are you slaying a Sagittarius? <laughs> we got two Sag right back to back. Sag, Sag. But here's the uh, compromise, the peace, the harmony, the balance, patience. Okay. Strength. So we did say that with the dragon is uh, being courageous and brave, and that is strength. This is Leo. So being strong, courageous, and brave, taming that beast, slaying that dragon, and then taming it. Did you slay the dragon and tame it all at once? Pisces? That's a lot to do for a water sign. <laughs> Wow. Okay. All right. So let's get a few more here. Ten of Pentacles. This could be, uh, that's usually the marriage card. So this could be a marriage here or a long-term partner. So what else here? The last judgment. So making a judgment call here. It's Scorpio. Scorpio. Could be about forgiveness or resurrection. Uh, or making a final judgment call can be relationship review, life review. All right, so it's like doing a life review, a relationship review about a marriage or a long-term relationship. All right, so let's see. Let's get one more. Let's get one more. Injustice. Wow. Libra. Libra energy. 
<sighs> I know this could have been a strong um, soulmate energy at one time. But with the justice and the last judgment kind of reminds me of a divorce or a separation of either a long-term relationship or marriage, especially with slaying the dragon there. It's like slaying, um, slaying this energy, slaying uh, a commitment or something like that. All right, so let's see what all this is about. We have Libra, we have Scorpio, we have Leo, two Sagittarius energies. So what is the situation? What are we doing? Are we recovering? Are we healing, forgiving, and bringing balance and justice back into a strong soulmate connection here slaying whatever negative energy or dragons that were taunting this connection and um bringing compromise and balance back into a connection here coming out happy at the end or is this separation or divorce i don't know let's see what is this going on what is this five of cups so sadness hurt loss what is that about Seven of Swords, getting away, getting away, sneaking away, getting away. Four of Cups, feeling bored, melancholy, blah, discontent. Ooh, a lot of conflict, fighting, arguing, okay. All right. Yeah, feeling disillusioned, confused about the whole, wow. So, okay, <laughs> so I see Seven of Swords can be, you know, lies, deceit, uh, sneaking away from a situation, Five of Cups, sadness, loss, maybe even a regret. But right in the middle of the spread, feeling bored and, you know, melancholy, just blah, where, you know, situations just blah. A lot of fighting, arguing, bickering, maybe um, conflict with the Five of Rods, which a lot of confused energy, um, confusion, um, choices, options. A lot of challenges. I think this relationship had a lot of bickering, arguing, feeling bored. Uh, a lot of challenges. You know, maybe turning your back on one another here. <laughs> you know, like turning the back on, back on the two of cups here. Like, you know, could have been a strong soulmate bond at one time. But now, you know, this could be a divorce or a separation. Not, this is not good energy here. So let's see, let's clarify. Let's get a few more here because there's a lot of, I just feel like if this is um, separation or divorce, um, unfortunately with the wheel there, it's fate and destined for it to turn out this way. This is like the karmic wheel. Karmic justice, karmic wheel turning, you know. But I feel like here, you know, there might have been forgiveness with the judgment there. Um, maybe you tried to work it out several times. It could have been the Seven of Cups there. I mean, a lot of times. But it always ended in fighting, arguing, one-upping one another. Feeling bored, you know, bored, content, like it's the same old thing again. Uh, both feeling like, uh, you know, I just wish I could get out of this. Kind of turn back on one another here. Um, but I mean, with the temperance there, I, you know, again, that's about trying to bring balance, peace, harmony, healing, um, divinely guided energy. So I feel like, you know, you tried, especially with the strength there, you have the infinity symbol. I think you tried over and over again, but it was like the same pattern back and forth, back and forth. And unfortunately, I feel like this could be a separation or divorce. So... I don't know. Let's get a few more for what is going on here. Uh, let's clarify the Seven of Cups. We've got three. So we have the Seven of Rods, so being defensive. The Six of Rods and the Eight of Rods. So we got the Six, Seven, Eight, but they're out of water. So <laughs> Wow. So... So we got an energy here being defensive and on guard, but then we have success and victory. And then we have communication here back and forth with the eight of rods. Oh, so I feel like here, 
Now, I feel like, you know, you try, you know, come back in and you try and you communicate again to try to make it work. But then, you know, we get defensive energy again. You know, things just get in that defensive behavior again as much as we try to work it out back and forth. Uh, let's see. Let's get a few more. Let's get a few more. Clarify this energy. The world. Yeah. Fortunately, you may be stuck in a pattern here. Round and round and round and maybe debating here. What do we do? Do we end this? Do we keep going? Do we try to work it out? Because I feel like. I feel like, you know, maybe it goes smooth for a while and then it gets back to this defensive energy. You know, the world is usually about endings, closure, cycles and new cycles. But in reverse, it's kind of like either a delay or you keep repeating the same cycles over and over and nothing, you know, is coming to a completion. It's just a never ending circle. So we do have uh, the world here, which could be Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, or Scorpio. The sun and the emperor. There's the emperor energy I had talked about. Someone taking lead, control, charge of their life. We do have the sun here, which is the most positive card in the, in the deck. Leo, happiness, joy, success, victory, enlightenment, healing, um, energy. So I feel like here, oh, it's a little confusing. So I feel like, you know, someone needs to take charge here to close this cycle to find their true happiness. Because I feel like with all this energy here, it's just a cycle of conflict, arguing, uh, challenges, you know, not seeing eye to eye, like backstabbing, one-upping one another, arguing, you know, maybe don't have the same point of views, don't have, you know, it's just... You know, maybe at one time you did, but, you know, maybe just kind of grow apart. And now you have different opinions, different views, different outlooks. And I get just get, like, a lot of clashing energy. So, let's see here. What's this? The Star and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, we got walking away here with the Eight of Cups. But then we have the Star here. It's Aquarius for uh, Divine Healing. Faith, hope, optimism, which is dreams coming true, divinely guided energy. I, you know, I see this person leaving, but I don't think they're coming back. So I think, I think somebody, in order to heal, I think you know, walking away from this situation, unfortunately, is really going to be the only way to heal this. I feel. Yeah, because I just put the Eight of Cups on the world in reverse. So there's a failure here to close out this cycle, but it's finally time here to walk away, to take control, to go in search of your true happiness in life. And to heal. So, let's see. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else here? Ace of Rods. So... <laughs> There is a passion. This is new, a new fiery passion, a new beginning, something more exciting somewhere that in search of here. Anything else? King of Swords. So Gemini, this is about seeing what truth, clarity, cutting away energy, no longer serving, um, telling it like it is, standing up, not backing down, having total clarity here. So let's see. I mean, for some of you, there is a chance you could heal this and start over, start fresh. But you may repeating the same cycles over and over. I think there's just, I feel like an outgrowing of each other. So now it's like boring, it's stagnant, it's defensive. There's arguing, there's bickering, there's challenges. Um, and it's a cycle that will keep going around and around until, unless you can completely slay whatever dragon, dragons are haunting this I think it's just going to keep going you know around and around and around so all right so Pisces let's see what is your advice and guidance yeah seven of pentacles in reverse so this is about not waiting around anymore it's about not waiting you know running out of patience and not waiting so if you're running out of patience with this you know don't hesitate to do what you feel 
you know, that's about no longer investing. You know, you've already assessed, analyzed, reviewed the whole thing here. And it's like, I'm not waiting around anymore. <laughs> it's like, no more investing. King of Cups, that's you, Pisces. That's you, king or queen. Deciding here not to invest anymore. This is your advice or guidance, so however it resonates for you. Now we have the queen of swords. So we do have a matching couple, but they're holding swords, so they're ready to fight. <laughs> they're ready to fight with each other. They don't look very happy. So, and, you know, the queen of swords again. So this could be um, Libra. Again, seeing the truth and clarity, cutting away things no longer storming. It's like you're both ready to cut each other out anyway. It's like, you know, slay the dragon, you know. Not that you're, like, bad, but together it's, like, not good anymore. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of feeling. Um, all right, so let's see what your advice is. One more. Yeah. Knight of Swords now. So this is rushing in, rushing out, taking swift, quick action. So if you've been waiting around, you know, and going through the cycle over and over with this person, like for years, knowing, you know, there's something better out there for you. I could be happier if I moved on or, you know, somewhere else. But a failure, again, with that world in reverse to let this come to its natural ending. As with the wheel there, it's like karmic justice. You got justice and the wheel, which is like karmic justice. Failing to let this, you know, run its natural course. So your advice and guidance here is if you are tired of waiting around, not to wait around anymore, and the King of Cups is you, you can use this sword and take action. Don't wait around anymore. And that's exactly what your advice is. Do what's best for you. All right. So let's get your outcome. Let's get your outcome. We do see over here, though, you know, happiness and you know, optimism. So somehow finding some sort of balance in this. So we have four pentacles energy. So that could be an energy of holding back, holding on, not letting go, holding on to what you have, your stability. High priestess here, which is your energy, Pisces. So this is, you know, listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. It could also be about secrets. Holding back here too. So holding back something, listening to your, your intuition. So... Two of Pentacles energy here. So now we're kind of juggling around in a little, like, trying to find balance. So I think <laughs> in the end, you're still going to be indecisive whether or not to hold on to this person or not. Because the Four of Pentacles could be holding on and not letting go or holding back and not giving. It's like both. So, <sighs> all right, so let's see, let's clarify here. So what is Three of Pentacles? Oh, so that's like working teamwork collaboration. You can just still try to work this out with this person. Okay, so are we working on ourselves? Are we working? It's like chiseling away like your plan of escape, like an escape route. <laughs> oh boy, okay. So Tower, yeah. You gotta to try to work it out again and it's still gonna blow up. Aries energy. Here's the Aries. And I said Emperor or the Tower, and they both showed up. So yeah, I mean you could try to work it out with this person again, but yet it's still gonna backfire, blow up. It's the same pattern as before. Because here we are with the infinity symbol here, as over here with Leo. So same same motions, back and forth, back and forth. You totally know the right thing to do. But yet, yeah, holding back, holding back. Okay, let's work it out again. And then, oh, blows up again. Repeating the same pattern again and again and again. Any more for Pisces? Page of Cups yet? Apologies. I'm sorry. Let's work it out. <sighs> for once, you know, because we're married or we're committed, we've been together for a very long time, you know, kind of energy let's you know try to make this stable again but you know still feeling at a crossroads you know still not sure here yeah it's stuck stuck at a crossroads not sure what to do 
and a decisive. So fortunately, you may stay stuck in this cycle. You may not have, you know, the energy to let it go. Yeah, just not doing anything. Resting, healing, recuperating, rejuvenating, thinking about it. I think you're going to think about it. But in the long run, I think you'll end up repeating the same cycles over and over. But intuitively, I think you know there's something better out there for you uh, than the cycle you're in. But if you have the confidence to totally slay this dragon um, and find balance and either move on or do what's best here, you could have your peace, harmony, and happiness and optimism here. But... Let's see what's on the bottom of the magician. So, again, manifesting a brand new beginning for yourself. And we do have Gemini Virgo, Queen of Pentacles. So I think it's just a thought in your head, not really taking action on it. But the Queen of Pentacles knows their value, their worth. They're stable, they're grounded, they're secure, can take care of themselves. They have a lot of value. So this could be Capricorn energy. And then Chariot, positive movement forward, Cancer energy, balance, drive, passion, ambition, going forward fearlessly. But, I don't know, I mean, I think this Two of Cups it still draws you back, you know? You know, you may try to, you know, leave or whatever here, but I don't know, something I feel, you know, they draw you back with the page, with a message, and may feel the passion, and instead of letting it end, you know, here comes communication again, so... I think it's this round and round and round karmic cycle that, unfortunately, until you have the courage to break it, I think you're going to be in the same pattern of conflict, arguing, boredom, um, stagnation. Oh, but you do have the bluebird energy at the end, which could be peace, harmony, happiness. I think that would be somewhere else. But unfortunately, places you may stay stuck in this cycle. Spirit says, though, do what's best for you. If you want to stay stuck, stay stuck. You want to break free and find your true happiness, joy, and new beginnings, then do what's best for you. All right, so let's get some extra messages here for you Pisces. See, it's not an emergency. So we have 16, which is 7. So I feel like you keep putting it off. Keep putting it off like, you know... It's not an emergency, like <laughs> putting, making this decision off, like it's not a big deal when it really it is. Speak with love, 32.5, challenge, change. So again, you know, apologies, trying to work it out again, but here's that same circular pattern. pattern. So let's get one more, give more. So I have 23.5, challenge, change. So, you know, for some of you, you could heal this, be more loving, caring, nurturing, giving. Um, try to get it back to like it once was, and maybe this could work. Otherwise, some, I think you may just be stuck in something where it's just, it's not like it used to be. Invest in your spirit. 45.9 is almost at the ending or a completion. So this is telling you to invest in you, yourself, um, your soul, what's best for you, invest in you, what's best for you, whatever you feel like you need to do. Again, nine, it's almost at the ending or a completion. So whatever the cycle is, you could choose to stay in it or you could choose to break it. Whatever the call is up to you, Pisces. Okay, Pisces, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, as always, always shine your light.